Boys and girls, today we're going to look at a problem about an input-output table. Let's take a look at it. Brian used the same rule on each input number to create the output numbers in the table below. Let's take a look at Brian's table. The input, the number he put in, and what came out, the output. Well, he put in the number 30 and 20 came out. Well, 20 is less than 30, so you either had to subtract or to divide. Is there any number we can think of that you could divide 30 by and get 20? I don't think there is. As much as you could think, 20 divided by 30 divided by 2 would be 15, divided by 3 is 10. Let's try subtraction. If I subtract 10, it's easy to see that pattern. 30 take away 10 would give me 20. It seems like that works, minus 10. But when we look at an input-output table, we must look at the next row to see if it continues. 60 minus 10, it seems to be working, minus 10 again. 20 minus 10 gives us 10, minus 10 again. And the last number, 40 minus 10, gives us 30. So boys and girls, the rule that Brian used was subtract 10.